morning. We are on the commute life on the Jam to Watt Avenue laundry day. We're rocking the Vermark kit that we wore down for the shindigs with SRAM in Malibu. I think I'm sure I can talk about that. Um, yeah, so we were at Melo Down. If you remember, we went down south a little bit ago and we took some pics, so it's for that. It's only been worn once. Feels nice and properly fitting. Good chamois. Too much info. TMI, bro. TMI. So I had a big breakfast this morning. I had a little bagel sandwich with some egg whites and peppers and onions, and it was fantastic. Hot sauce. Whenever I eat a big breakfast, I feel like I'm gonna bonk. Like, early on, it boosts my metabolism enough where I get super hungry. Now, I feel like I'm gonna bonk. I don't think I'm actually going to. It's funny, because if I eat a really small breakfast, it doesn't happen. But if I eat a big breakfast, oh well. I'm sure we'll be fine. If not, I... Not sure what we'll do, but um, it'll be no problem. Ranger X checking to see if anyone's riding the trails. You know, these are horse only trails. You'll see a horse once every 10 years on rare occasion, but don't ride them. The other day, got caught riding on the trail. Not me, somebody else. Got caught out on the trail. He parks across the trail, tells him, you have to go back to the trail. Now the end of it is like 100 yards that way, or the beginning of it, is about a mile behind him. So he continued to like, yeah, you gotta go back to the trail. He's cool, I'm going this way. Go back to the trail. Cool, I'm going this way. So he walked around the front, would move the truck and then got onto the pavement. Making life tough. Fun trail. Fun trail. Fun trail. Fun trail. And all these trails are illegal. My storytelling has been on alternate course. I had like a few good days and it just boom, veered off today. Actually yesterday, this is yesterday's vlog. I'm talking about this today. Um, I'm not sure what happened. My apologies on that, but we're gonna bring it back around. We are going to. I've had a couple people uh, ask me about my opinion on the old Sagan and Cavendish incident. It's already a couple days late, but why not talk about it, right? Um, I will do my best to remove all, keep it short, and remove all um, personal thoughts of riders. I'm sure y'all can probably figure out what I think of each rider. Here's what I think happened. Long story short, Cab tried to put himself into a hole that wasn't there realized it too late bounced off a of Sagan and that was all she wrote I will say when it first happened and somebody told me that he got DQ'd and all somebody told me that he got DQ'd and all of that I knew there would be two sides to the story there always is right everybody wants to portray it one way or another from both sides and there's always two sides to the story. But hey, you know what? I, I don't think it was right for them to DQ him. Uh, and then as the days go on to like have less harsh penalties for everything else, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some internal French thing. With, and there's so much money in this business that they put on that there's no doubt that there's not some influence on that as well. So um, yeah, that's my opinion, my two cents. We'll keep it short and sweet. So tomorrow we got some better better storytelling going on so thanks for staying tuned you guys are the best it's awesome we will uh see you guys tomorrow over and out peace